Chris, what did you make of that? Is that a good point in the end? Uh, I think so. Um, uh, I must admit, we, we I think we had a period where, where, I, where I felt um, that we was going to hold on. I mean, they made changes, very offensive team, got a lot of good players. And um, uh, probably, probably disappointing the fact that they've had a couple of real good chances. Um, certainly uh, the one where uh, the lab was through on a 1v1 one, on one one, and um, I don't know if it just bobbled up for him which made it a little bit more, more difficult. Um, but I thought we was always in the game and it sort of ebbed and flowed a little bit. I thought we had decent periods. Um, they probably look the more threatening with the, with the players that, that they've got. Um, but at one stage, I thought we, we, we were going to win it. I thought we were going to stay strong. Uh, but it got that such quality. And I think when you finish a game uh, like this, it, sometimes you've got to appreciate that um, with the quality that they've got in front in front of goal, that um, you know it's 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 another game where you know we haven't really conceded a, a lot of goals, and it and it keeps a sort of run going as regards you know. Not, not conceding so many goals, um, uh, it's just can we go on and win these games and that's the next part. And, and I wonder if maybe a turning point from a Reading point of view might have been their goalkeeper save to keep Sami Amiobi's effort out very soon after you'd gone 1-0 up. If it goes 2-0 then it's a different game. Yeah and, and I must admit I didn't realise it was that good a save, it's only when I've, uh, I've just seen it and uh, you know that was one of our you know, good efforts and I thought we got into some really good um, positions. A lot of crosses, particularly in that um, in that in that first half. So certainly no complaints uh, about the effort that the, that the team put in. A little bit naivety at the end. I thought we were, our game management had to be a, li a little bit better. Um, but we're up against a strong team, you know, and they they showed, you know, why they are pushing, you know, and why they they are uh, been in that top six all season. Um, and I'd say probably the overriding feeling is is that that uh, I think probably happy with the draw. As you say, though, I mean, you, you'd be disappointed, I guess, that with you know nine minutes to go, you, you are winning the game, and, and in the end, you don't win the game. Yeah, and I think probably that's, uh, you know, it's uh, when you calm down, which uh, it takes a little while to, then I, I think you you get a full sort of grip of the game and how, you know, the 90-odd minutes went. And, and I think for us, and I think the way that we, we had to play, I think it was a fair, a fair result. Um, but the big disappointment is, is that you know, because it's so late in the game, and at that stage I couldn't see us conceding. I knew that they were going to push and they were going to threaten, and I knew we'd have to defend well. Um, but I couldn't see us conceding, so that, that would be the disappointment. But I think overall, I think a point is a good point. And talk about Scott McKenna, who you brought back in today, gave him the captain's armband as well. Um, and, and what about his performance out there? Because it, I mean, it's a, it's a tough old game to come back. It's into, a tough it? game to come, particularly with what they've got up front and, and the set of fat. Uh, the, uh, firepower that they've got up front but but there are some individuals I think that, that could do it I mean he's, he's he played and it was a tough decision because Ember so has done really well in training he's a fabulous young player and uh, probably I, I chose to just go with that bit more experience um, he's trained well um, maybe not for as long as what we would have liked him to, to have trained but but I think with his experience and amount of games that he's played um, but it was a, it was a tough game for him. you know both himself and Toby I think they were Proper sort of test it today, uh, but uh, but with Joe out, it, it's certainly good to see him back. What about Joe? What's he done, and, and how long do you think he might be missing for? Yeah, well, I think it's it's a little bit testament to Joe's character and and willingness to want to play and and, and his toughness. Um, he's got a crack rib, which will, which will keep him out for a few weeks. We're hoping, very much hoping that that once the international break is. Um, it's finished that he'll be he'll be available we are hoping um, but it's something that, um, that that he felt that didn't think was a was a problem uh, and it's only uh, when we got it uh, uh, got it scanned that it, that it showed up so um, so yeah disappointing but obviously good to have Scott back I heard Chris that he, he might have got it last week did he at Watford and played through it is, is that right uh, no he, he actually uh, did it in the Watford, in the Luton game Oh right. So, but um, but trained afterwards, no problems. Uh, finished the game at, at Luton, no problems. Uh, and I think sometimes these these things these things can happen. And uh, the, you're, what you're reliant on is that you're reliant on, you know, a, a player indicating that he's in pain. But that but, but that wasn't the case with Joe. And he's a he's a, a tough individual anyway. Um, but that wasn't the case. So certainly the, um, it was right for him to play. In the last game at Watford, because he said it was, it wasn't one that uh, that stopped him playing, or he was feeling. 
Uh, he is a big miss, though, obviously. Uh, but as you say, you've, you've got other players in. It means that if he's not going to be back for Wednesday, that's either Scott McKenna again. That's maybe a big ask for him to, to play another game against the leaders again on Wednesday or Loic so maybe. Yeah, well, that, that would be the, the decisions. And, and um, that would be a, a decision that I will make. You know, that, that will, uh, of course, depend on what medical department feel, how Scott feels it himself. Um, yep, and they're the decision to, the, that I have to make. But, but certainly with uh, Joe being out, it's it's good to have Scott back and and Loic, who's uh, he said he's a he's a terrific young player that that we like. But they're the sort of tough decisions you, uh, you have to make. And what about Joe Lolly, who we saw pull up, look like a hamstring in the first yeah, half? Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't know how bad it is, but um, I think you uh, it's, it never looks good when somebody has to that somebody pulls up, you know, with a hamstring. So. Uh, that's obviously what it is um, at this moment. It's, it's difficult to say about how long. It obviously doesn't look good at this moment, but we'll assess him over the next couple of days and, uh, and uh, hopefully it's not as bad as what we think. Frustrating as well because he just looked like he was really getting going in the, in the yeah. game today. Yeah, and he was. And, I, and uh, no, I thought he was good. And, that, and that's, that's what we want to see from Joe Lolly. That's, that's his strength. That's the quality of his play. You know, dropping his shoulder and going past players and... And uh, not only that, I think he'd got himself into a really good position at that, at, that, at that moment. So, yeah, really disappointed because it's been a little bit of a stop-start season for Joe. And, uh, and there's still plenty of games for him to get really into his rhythm. And, and I hope this doesn't knock him back too much. And the leader's here on Wednesday night. Yep, another, another tough one. So if we, if we thought this one was tough, then, um, you know, Wednesday night, if anything on paper, will be even tougher. But, you know, these are the games that you have to... You know, look forward to. Um, we know we'll be tested, um, and you know it's about character and, and bouncing uh, back from that good recovery, and, and and really sort of looking forward to a game on Wednesday.